Hello everybody and welcome to Trombone First Aid. Today I'm talking about exercise number 50 from the Arban's Trombone Method. This exercise is quite interesting because you have two ways of practicing it. So the standard way, which is the one I would recommend to start with, is taking care of articulation on different octaves. This means that uh, since now we were talking about articulation through the exercise, maybe through scales or arpeggios, but not directly comparing two different uh, octaves. So this is something which is giving you the direct opportunity to do that. Then, if you practice this exercise quite fast and you focus on the melody, which is behind those octave jumps, you have another opportunity. So practicing kind of flexibility and airstream throughout the whole piece without kind of uh, getting lost in these octave jumps. Let's go slowly. So the first uh, way to practice, as we said, is the slow one. And so on. This is very important to be uh, done in the ways we already practiced earlier exercises. So please refer to previous uh, videos. To help you find a good correspondence and synchronization with lower and upper octave, there is kind of a trick. You should double the notes before jumping to the different octave. I always suggest to have kind of resonant staccato. So staccato which is kind uh, of similar to a timpani sound. So it's fat, it's full of vowel, it's full of resonance, not just the sound of the hammer on the, on the timpani. So, this, also in my experience, helps you to connect different octaves because actually the higher octave of every note is already included in the lower one. We know that sounds have different components. So higher harmonics, higher, I don't know how to say it in English, in Italian it's harmoniche. Uh, this I forgot, sorry. So the higher octave is already included. What we have to do is just to take it out from the lower sound. So actually jumping up should not be adding something, but it's subtracting something. In this way, it may sound a bit bouncy, but this is the uh, bridge to connect to my second way of practicing this uh, exercise. So, we said in order to get the same uh, articulation, doubling the notes before jumping one octave can help. Okay, now when we want to practice this exercise faster, we are trying to keep the lower note as a reference for the melody behind this note and use the higher one as a doubling for the low note. So this higher note should be actually lighter than the lower one. So it's like this bouncing effect I said. This way is not exactly what is written, and if we play at this speed, it sounds a bit uh, weird. So, when practicing for the first time, please do it slow, maybe this tempo or slower, taking care of every note having the same articulation. When we speed up, we kind of forget about this. We use the higher octave as a rhythmical pulse, 
and we keep the lower one as a reference for the melody. So the aim is to keep this horizontal line instead of getting lost in these vertical jumps. I will play through once to let you understand better. If you like this content or this whole project, please put like at my videos and subscribe to my channel. Ciao!